Hi guys, today I'm going to do a very quick review of the Urban Decay 2 palette. Now I already have um, the first one um, and they do have very similar shades. Let's open them both up together and show you. Now the Urban Decay first palette is at the top, this one here, and then this is the number two palette as well. So there you can see the sort of, the colours are very, very similar. Um, they have some unique shades in sort of either one, um, but there are some duplicates between two as well. But um, I really liked the top um, first naked palette, so that's what really prompted me to buy the second one as well. But um, I would say if you are only looking to buy one, my preferred one is the first one, because I just find that the colours are more sort of versatile. Uh, the second one has a lot of sort of very glittery, sparkly colours in, whereas I find the top one has got more sort of um, matte, um, and more day wear type of colours whereas the Naked 2 palette I find has got very glittery sparkly ones that will work really nice for the It comes evening. with this double ended brush as well, it's got a fluffy brush on this side and then a sort of application eyeshadow brush on that side to sort of place the colour on. But if I just take that out for now so we can go through. Okay so this first colour here is Foxy and then the second one I think is Half Baked Yes half-baked. So if I just swatch those two for you and then the third one is Booty Call which again is a really nice um, sort of highlighting colour. So that's Booty Call and then that's the half-baked there. Really nice frosty sort of gold colour and that's what I have on at the moment today. So I've created this eye look with the Naked 2 palette um, and then that is the um, Yes, yeah, sorry, that is the Foxy there. So that's a very nice matte high, um, highlighting colour. And that's what I've highlighted my brows with today. Topper here, which is a really nice sort of coppery brown. And then this one is Tease, which is like a mauve sort of brown, but still quite sparkly. This is Snake Bite, one of my favourites. That's Snake Bite there. So quite a sort of nice um, colour that you can create a lot of smoky um, looks with. And then that's Tease there, a really nice sort of mauve sort of brownie pink. And then this one was chocolate right over here. This is Suspect. This one is like a grey colour, which is Pistol. And this is like a very frosty, um, whitey, creamy colour, um, which is Verve. Well, quite silvery, actually, if you look. So that's the Verve. That's Pistol, a really nice colour. And then this one was... Suspect. There aren't in the Naked One palette, um, so I, especially because I like the pistol, um, you know, that's what sort of prompted me to buy it. I think that's one of the colours that I swatched first when I went to have a look at the palette. a sparkly um, pinky brown. This is YDK. And then this one over here is like a very plummy sort of colour. Um, and that's called Busted. And this is Blackout, a very, very, really nice um, matte black, uh, very versatile. And the good thing is um, about this second palette is they don't have a matte black in the first one. I think the other one was quite a sort of glittery, sparkly black. So if you are looking for a really nice matte black and, you know, you sort of like these colours, then I suppose this is a good one um, yeah, That's my get. very quick review. I just wanted to swatch some colours there for you, just in case some of you are thinking about buying it. And I did buy mine from Debenhams and it cost me £36, but it didn't come with the Primer Potion. Uh, the Naked One palette did come with a Primer Potion, a very small one, but um, I found it quite useful. So uh, there you go. I hope you found this video useful. If you'd like to know how I created this look, then I'll put a link at the bottom um, or attached to the video so you can watch how I created it. I'll see you all soon. Bye.